36, 36. weeks in. And, uh, and it's not the splash week again. No, it's not going to be, no. Uh, we had a few issues uh, with some wrong diagrams over the uh, with the engine coupling to the prop shaft and um, I was trying to get this coupling apart to put some bolts in because that's what it said in the drawing and I realised I'd missed these bolts out and after days of trying and struggling, which is wasting an awful lot of time, I found out that the drawing's wrong. Uh, thank you very much to Paul uh, from uh, Vetus down in Southampton there who um, sent me the correct drawings for the, the piece of that's fitted to the prop shaft, but uh, that has wasted two days, basically. Yeah, so frustrating. And it's been very depressing. Um, it's, it's it's really got us both down. And uh, basically, today is Wednesday. We haven't get got got the camera for no, two days because no. we're just feeling so frustrated. Yes, it's just so many things, little things that um, are proving to be very difficult. Like we discovered that the exhaust pipe from the uh, generator is 40 mil and not 45 mil, uh, but it's so difficult to get to that it's almost impossible. So we've had to um, get some uh, pipe and an adapter uh, to fit that. That won't be here till Thursday. Um, and it's just been a, an ongoing thing like that, really, uh, one thing after the other. And uh, the, the boat yard again is not helping. No, they're, they're really getting us down, actually, to be <coughs> honest. And uh, to be honest, I feel like they're, they're uh, being extremely difficult now. They're and playing a game with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so they've taken some of the bits away for the heater and uh, they won't give us some back basically and they won't do the job and they won't fit the rest of the diesel system and we've been waiting for this diesel system since October and it's right up to the point where we want to go in the water and they still haven't done it and to be honest we paid for it what two months three months ago and it, it just isn't good enough and uh, they're treating us very badly now um, but we're going to get over it and uh, we're going to either go and buy another part and uh, rebuild it to them or something or um, see what happens and uh, we will get there if not this week shortly <laughs> always optimistic so this is the prop shaft here and this is a called a uniflex which is um, sort of like, like a rubber cushioned um, uh, coupling so that uh, if the prop shaft's got a little bit of movement in up to two degrees this will absorb that and uh, take it out and one of the problems I had was that this ring here actually has a cone on it which goes onto uh, the prop shaft and you push this cone into the back of um, the uniflex system and it uh, crushes onto the um, prop shaft and tighten it up. Well, the drawings I had showed that you had to put four bolts in, two on each side, and squeeze it up. And uh, that's where the confusion came. And um, also, we had to try and get it all apart, which was proving extremely difficult. So I'm very grateful to Paul down there at Vetus, who um, not only sold me a couple of bits for the uh, exhaust for the um, generator but actually spent a bit of time talking to me and explaining how it worked and sent me a, a manual which I didn't have and so consequently really I spent biggest part wasted biggest part of two days trying to get this thing back together get it out get it apart put the bolts in that weren't didn't have to go in I never got it apart but I found out how to get it apart so I'm putting this bit back together to start with and really, we're all set to go then. More than enough bolt holes here. And what happens is that the other bolt holes are used to extract the system and not put it in. So tell everybody what you're doing. Well, I'm painting the tabacle, tabernacle. Tabernacle, apparently, <laughs> mass step, we would call it in yachty terms, but here it's called a tabernacle. Yeah, so it's very difficult the first coat. Yeah, so the first coat, coat is very difficult because it runs everywhere. I tried less as possible, but I'll give a bit of a sand afterwards. It's already dry, nearly dry. Ooh, it's just half yeah. an hour, not even half an hour ago. Poxy paint, you see, in uh, warm weather. Fantastic. Yeah. And I did some bits on the boat too. Let's see Excellent. how it's going to look. It's a little bit untraditional, but the um, this won't grip the uh, bits any longer, the taps, so I'm struggling here. But I think these are the last uh, holes like this that I need to do. That's a turn. 
like to make a big thank you to Lee from DMS in Maidenhead that uh, made this tabernacle for us. Um, really appreciated and it's stainless steel and uh, so it won't rust. Absolutely fantastic job. Is there a ceremony, a ceremony for putting a mast up? <laughs> legs, legs, you need legs. Yeah. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. Is this one first? Oh, let's do the other one first. I can't see anything. I'm oh, sorry. A hammer is always good. Always isn't good. It? <laughs> this one's got a nylock on it, so that one won't come under after we tighten it up in a bit. Well, man! Yeah, hey! So I'm just putting the uh, steaming light on here. I've actually had to put it on upside down because the only way I can get it to fit. The lack of planning there. It's all a bit of an achievement, really, isn't it? Just putting down on the calendar the last things we have to do. Uh, now is really, really ticking uh, boxes on the last things to do. I reckon after Thursday we won't have really anything else to do on the boat. We will be finished by Wednesday. There are a few things that uh, they will have to be done and um, we will do it in the water because uh, they don't require to be on the yard to do it. Like, you know, we're going to repaint all the windows outside. Uh, varnishing again. The, we always said we would do that at the end and we are going to do it but we can do it in the water on a nice day just you know we have the portable sander so it will be easy and uh, much better to do if you are rested it's just you know just like something to do on that day. Um, I want to repaint all the rails around the boat the blue rails and um, the strip around the boat because we have been going up and down all the time, so they all scratch and um, <clears throat> I tested on a few bits and it just with the paint we have which matches exactly the one on the boat and uh, will look beautiful again. Uh, so yeah, we're nearly there now. It's been a long road. Can you push that on the hole? That's the hole, please. Turning. Turning. This morning we're going to start work on the electrics in the barrel locker. So we've got 210 amp batteries uh, run in parallel and that's going into to switch fuse uh, a bus bar and then it gets distributed to the windlass and to the uh, bow thruster. So I've got all my bits and pieces, I hope, and uh, off we go. Here we are. It's not the uh, biggest space in the world. I've already put these uh, cables in here for the uh, windows. So I'm going to have to put them in some trunk here, over here. Down here are the two batteries and I'm going to move them over and put the distribution section. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, things started to get a little bit more complicated. The two 12 volt batteries are wired in parallel. A switch is added to the feed, followed by a 100 amp fuse, then the bus bars. Two solenoids are required to switch the power to the windows. These are connected from the bus bars to the solenoid switch and on to the windows. Control cables go to the remote control. In addition, a separate supply will go to the bow thruster as this requires a much larger fuse and circuit. I bought these for the uh, catamaran in case I needed to. Uh, we lost the rig in a gale or something, and I had to cut it away. But, uh, fortunately, that never happened. All this sort of stuff costs a lot of money, actually, and uh, the crimps, the cable, battery terminals, everything. It really does add up to the cost of uh, an installation. It's quite surprising. So I've got the first stage done, uh, so here's the battery terminal and that's my cable which is going to the switch which in turn goes to the fuse and then from there it goes to a small bus bar for distribution. So I've crimped all these uh, connections. Go. 